let's talk about space. Where Again, if you're looking for what's the substance, where's the there, where's the beef, well, it's in space. I repeat, billions of dollars worth of investment here and, essentially, you have to be an American to be part of certain elements of the space force that is both the commercial and government-sponsored one. That's why uh, they've gone where they have. However, there seems to be some misgivings, about $150 million being, uh, being invested in this. Now, Joel Fitzgibbon was part of a breakfast TV debate this morning and much was made of his comments. Have a look. Well, I believe we can chew gum and walk too, Many in rural communities will be asking why are we investing money to send a rocket to Mars when we desperately need money here in rural Australia. These are Scott Morrison's forgotten people and they grow more angry by the day. All right. Well, uh, Robert, as a man who has farmers in the party's name, how do you feel about $150 million being spent on anything but farming and well, He just stole my words. You can, you can walk and chew gum at the same time. I mean, $150 million in the federal budget is neither here nor there, but it's an important recognition of what we could be doing in this new industry. We do need to establish it, and if we can get into a partnership with the United States with the, I hate to say it, rocket booster of investment that brings with it, then who knows where we're going to end. But that doesn't mean that farmers got to lose one red cent. Yeah. In fact, they could get more out of this whole process. Well, correct. And as I said, I just mentioned the one bloke that I, I met in Tamworth who was explaining yeah. how the modernising goes. You go to... I mean, literally, I went to the, the, the beef show in Rockhampton where a big part of it is people explaining tech and so how much tech... technology comes it, out of the it. The idea that sort of, you yeah. know, it's, it's the, the, the dusty bloke yeah. and that's the only way we do it. Come on. Uh, time to... Time to get in the real world here. Um, Richo, look, I get it, though, when you're in opposition, part of the job is you've got to find a hole. I even if there's not one there, you've got to try and punch one through. What did you think of a valiant effort from your band today? Oh, I think they did OK. Um, uh, their heart wasn't in it. I mean, there was no... <laughs> you can see, if you're really going to have a go at someone, you don't even look like Joel looked then, do you? <laughs> <laughs> he, he didn't exactly look like real... I'm really angry about it. Uh, he looked like a bloke who was... Uh, had a microphone put in front of him and he goes, oh, God, I've got to say something. I've got to so, do it, all right. Uh, and, and so he, he went through the motions. <laughs> but I think uh, the Labor Party understand the importance of, of what's just of happened. And, um, uh, you know, the, it's politics, you've got to say something. But <laughs> I don't think there was too much in what Joel said. No. I've, Joel's very good at what he does. And if, uh, if Joel wanted you to know he was really upset, you'd know. Yeah, correct. And look, you know, as I said, breakfast TV thing where it's, you know, team red, team blue, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think, what do you think, yeah, ping-pong kind of TV stuff. Anyway, here's Scott Morrison again on the virtues of why money is worth spending, trying to get Australians involved in the space race. 20,000 jobs in a $12 billion industry by 2030. That's why we're in, that's why we're in it. Um, it's, it's, and it has a great alignment I think with our other cooperation with the United States uh, in, in other areas, so, and that's you know, some of the discussions I've had around here this afternoon, I think it's seen very much as Australia understanding about where this is heading and uh, positioning ourselves well to be part of what is going to be a, a very important and valuable supply chain. Corey, uh, because uh, you are leaving the parliament in this term, I don't know how freely you can speak about this, but let's be really clear. Um, does the space race have to come out of Adelaide? Does it have to be in South Australia? I know that it's yet another thing that, uh, that all sides of government are trying to throw, but is that the best place to put it? Everything has to happen in South Australia. <laughs> yeah, doesn't it just? Well, you see, what you need is the, the state of free city. settlers rather than just the convict uh, uh, brethren over there on the <laughs> East Coast. Um, we have a pristine environment, we have clear skies and we're closer to God than you guys. That's all it comes back to. <laughs> <laughs> now, I notice a politician who's not quite as into it as Joel Fitzgibbon there. That was the, the Senator for South Australia doing his best just to say, <laughs> I said it, read back the transcript, there's nothing goes... Transcripts have no I, I, tone nor passion. Yeah, Co Corey, I, 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 I thought he had just a... A, a, a little undertone there of humour. I'm not certain he absolutely is, is is dead right about it all, and I think he might know that. I think in the back of his mind, he, he might know he's pumping up tyres that, that desperately need pumping up, but that doesn't mean it's right. Richo, I can tell you now, the farmers wouldn't care if we spent a billion dollars on a space flight if we could send all the Extinction Rebellion people to colonise <laughs> Mars, right? They'd be buying into that straight away. Fine, fine by me, fine by me. Can I just say one more thing? Of what course. he didn't mention is he's got to allow water. Yes. Yes, <laughs> very... Oh, gee, oh. <laughs> <laughs> Them's fighting words, all right? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, Don't worry, he's ready for the fight.